Yes, I'm here with Tommy Sotomayor at the International Conference on Men's Issues 2019. You've just uh, delivered a cracking speech, I thought. And um, you. So, yeah, I mean, it, it seems to be that there's a few black figures, uh, black men, who are going on about the problems caused by feminism and also looking at more general populist themes as well. And you're in that group. And uh, I guess it's you, Kanye, um, also Larry Elder, and maybe a few others as well. Right. So, do you do you think there's that it's gaining momentum? The whole, uh, I guess, um, maybe the Brexit movement. Let's call it. Well, I I believe there is some movement. The sad part about it is, it just needs to be more figures that they know about, like your Kanye West or people that they know, and it needs to be more figures. It's more conservative blacks who will join this movement than the liberal ones, which makes it looks as though there's a racial component, meaning that there's sellouts and things like that. So you have to watch out for that. But I think there's gaining some momentum because men are getting beaten down in so many places in society that they're starting to realize that the only friends that they have are each other. Yeah, yeah. And um, with your uh, some some of the po points you brought up in your talk earlier, there was the that lyric by Tupac. Um, yeah, I thought that in particular did show a just this uh, this massive kind of oversight that uh, yep. I, I think is there certainly in the the black uh, community and mm -hmm. um, generally I'd, I'd say in the whole community as well which is this uh, kind of pedestalizing of women yeah and, that you uh, can't do anything wrong that's what they're saying to them when you say even though you were a crack fiend mm -hmm. you're still a queen then it means like just anybody can be a queen at that point and what it's saying is no matter what a woman does you must still respect her and hold her in the highest regard but we never say that about men we would say men their character and what they've done that would determine how we view them so all mm -hmm. citizens should be that way not just men yeah, yeah, and um, I mean we're here in Chicago now at the moment, and um, I've I've sort of seen you know some of the like social factors that are at play in the city, and uh, it seems that there's a massive problem with inner city violence here, and a lot of it is in the black community, and um, one of the most telling things I saw was the show called uh, Dope, mm. and. Um, that just showed uh, a lot of the, you know, the massive drug crime syndicate, uh, you know, all of that going on in this city. And it, it just seemed that there was a lot of young boys who had no fathers who were living a pretty feral existence. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they, you know, were getting then caught in this uh, drug trap and, you know, involved in that business and then making well, a, a, these, a fairly violent uh, exit out of this world at well, quite think a young about age. It. Those boys are looked at as men at an early age and they have to contribute to the household because there's no man there. Mm -hmm. So he's the man of the house. Well, what kind of job can a 15-year-old get that's going to contribute to his mom? He can try to go get a fast food job or he can go out in the street and make a couple thousand dollars a day selling drugs. His mm -hmm. mom pats him on the back because she doesn't discourage him from bringing in extra money. So these boys are just casualties of war. They literally are in a war zone. And I speak about black women and how they're causing a lot of this, and people, they're aghast about it. But then mm -hmm. I point out the most violent places in the, in the United States of America, that your Detroit's, your Chicago's, the average of them that are single parent homes are 80%. Every one of these places, the, the New Orleans, that are horrible places, 80% mm -hmm. of the mothers are in the home by themselves and the children are being raised with no male influence. That should be staggering in the United States. So don't tell me about the drug influx and the gun influx. Mm -hmm. How about the lack of fathers? But they won't talk about that. And everyone needs to ask, why is that? We can point to this, but we won't talk about it. That, that seems to be the, the initial thing that goes wrong is the lack of a father. And then down the line, it uh, seems to get into exactly. drugs and guns and... Uh, just a, a community that kind of has no soul. Right. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, so I myself, I'm a traditionalist and I promote um, traditional gender values and, and also generally a, more of a traditional society. Um, so in, in your talk, you spoke about a lot of young teenage black girls who were getting pregnant and having maybe several kids at that point in time and then going on to the get you know basically signing on after that and yep. getting their welfare check and so on 
Um, so w would you say that a return to more of a traditional setup is needed as a solution to this problem? Yes, if, if human beings paired together and had cared more about their families, that would build a stronger community because that's what community is and you'd have less people who needed the government. The government gains its power by more people in its society needing them, looking towards them. Whenever you have a father and a mother and a children, in a lot of cases, these were situations where they were self-sustaining units. They didn't need mm -hmm. the outside, which, which puts less power in the government's hand. That's why the government encourages situations where these women are having children by themselves. Notice that the place, uh, the children in jail right now, I think the percentage of people who are in prisons right now, it's upper 80s. Yeah, don't yeah. have fathers, didn't come from tradi traditional families. Traditional families are being discouraged uh, uh, at every turn. Mm -hmm. And I mean traditionally, whatever your tradition was. If you have, look, I'm, I'd have been called a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I look at it as if you were a white grandfather and you had a white child and you want your white children to have more white children, why is that looked at as bad? That still doesn't destroy the community. Mm -hmm. If what you are used to and, and, and a normality we're just trying to destroy everything that worked at one point to things that we know right now aren't working. And destroying families is the, one of the biggest things that is not working. And everyone can see the problem that destroying families is causing, yet we are encouraging destruction of families. You need to check that out. Yeah, will do. Okay, well, thank you for your time, man. It was a great speech again. No so, problem. Cheers, man. Thanks thank you lot. so much, brother.